Hello, my name is Dr. Marion Carroll, and this is the introduction to uh, organic and um, biological chemistry, what we like to refer to as biochem, and this course uh, is for our uh, pre-nursing program and so we will try to give it a little clinical spin. All right, I promised a, summa a summary or a review. Um, chapters uh, 1 through 4. Uh, Chapter 1 is really about specific gravity, and that's where I'll begin, because this is important to know, uh, especially uh, in the clinic, quite a number of diseases can be determined by measuring or knowing the specific gravity of the urine uh, and it'll also help us um, understand how we can uh, make solutions. Okay, and making solutions is um, where we will begin in chapter two. So let's quickly look at specific gravity. Um, did I say where I was? I'm at Dillard University in New Orleans, Louisiana. All right. Um, normal specific gravity is about 1.1 to 1.025. Anything outside these ranges, um, is an indication of some type of disease. And where do we get these numbers from? Well, we need to know the density of a solution. And what is a density? Simply put, mass per unit volume. So, for instance, if I have a mass of um, Say I have 9.5 grams of urine, and uh, I take and I get that weight. But of course, that weight came from collecting 10 mils. So I collected 10 mils of urine. I weighed it, and. I got 9.5 grams. All right, so what would be the density of that solution? Well, mass per unit volume means 9.5 grams per 10 mils. And if we do the division, we'll come up with 0.95 grams per milliliter and that's the density of a urine. But in order to find specific gravity we'll need a reference and that's usually water. Water has a density of one gram per mil. A little less than one, closer to 0 0.995. But let's say one. So to find the specific gravity of our urine, we take the density of urine, 0 0.95 grams per mil, 
and divided by the density of water. Our units cancel out because our specific gravity is unitless. And we get a specific gravity of 9.95. There's obviously something terribly wrong with this urine because it's it's uh, much much less than the lower level of 1.01 for normal uh, the normal specific gravity of water of uh, urine. And so obviously further tests would be required. Well, obviously, further tests would be uh, taking place because determining that specific gravity is, is a fairly quick and easy uh, analysis. Okay, farewell. Well, we're going to uh, start a discussion about solutions. I look in my notes from the past couple of weeks. I should see where we left off. Uh, talking about solutions. And electrolytes. And what I will do is I will uh, conclude this video and I'll post a new one so that uh, we can cover this in its entirety solutions and we'll do a, a, a quick uh, analysis of weak and strong electrolytes and then I'll uh, probably post a third video on our discussion of pH and uh, Lewis acids, Bronsted, uh, Lewis acids and bases and Bronsted acids and bases. All right, so this is our chapter one. Let me continue on the next video. We'll talk to you later.